Hi, my name is Kai. I'm sick and I make videos about my life. And welcome to part two of the heart series. This is part two of my heart series video. And if you have not seen the first one, you are missing out. It is all about the story of the day I died twice. So go check it out. Uh, it's important to this part of the story. So this episode is all about my ablation. So I didn't actually explain what SVT was in the last video, uh, superventricular tachycardia syndrome. Pretty much, you know, you have your heart um, and SVT just means that your heartbeat is going in the wrong pattern. Um, it's not going through your entire heart, it's only going through part of your heart um, and it's going super, super fast. Um, and it won't fill up with blood all the way, which is super dangerous. So that is the scientific what have you of SVT. Um, this is a specific type of heart arrhythmia. Um, this one is pretty dangerous uh, when it gets that high and that severe, but when it is lower, it's not quite as bad. Um, but because I had such a severe incident, they didn't want me to have another one like that. So we immediately, I booked a appointment with one of like the hospital's top cardiologists after my SVT episode. Um, and when I got in, he told me that we were going to do an ablation. Um, we were not doing any medications. We were not doing anything. We went straight to an ablation. So what my cardiologist was kind of telling me um, and what he assumed was the problem was the problem after he was like actually in my heart checking it out. So this is a heart, right? Um, with SVT, typically there's like a wire. So your heart is filled with electrical wires um, and that takes a signal down through your heart and back up and in between it. So it, it pumps and then it, when it's not in between each pump, it fills with blood. So the signal pumps it and then it fills with blood. Um, so that whole long signal is what gives you time between it. Um, with SVT, typically um, those electrical wires that um, the beat will follow around your heart, um, something's off. So instead of going all the way around your heart, it ends up going in little circles um, halfway through because one wire is pointing in the wrong direction. Um, so instead of having a full beat, my heart was going in lots of tiny little circles. I don't know if that explanation actually makes sense to anybody else, but that's how it makes sense in my brain. So we're just gonna run with it. So an ablation is a procedure where they'll go through and burn off part of that electrical wire that's in the wrong spot that's causing the issues. Um, and they'll do it from an incision point in like typically your groin, but it can be your wrist. Um, so like on the inside of your hip and that will go up through your veins, up to your heart and they'll either burn or freeze, but typically burn off that electrical wire. So they decided immediately to do an ablation because they thought it was one wire. They would go in, burn it off and that would be it. Um, so I, we got a, a procedure date set. So day of, I went to the hospital, you know, we got all checked in. Um, I was on the cardiologist like floor and let me tell you, I was the youngest person on that unit and I think I was the youngest person that unit has seen in a while. Um, because I was 19 at the time. Uh, so this is like March 25th of 2021. I was 19 years old. So I get there, get to the cardiologist ward, 19 years old. Uh, you know, we get all checked in, they come through. Nurse was fantastic. Um, get into my gown, she comes in and shaves off the area where they were going to do everything, um, which was not nearly as awkward as I anticipated it being. Um, I kind of asked her, I was like, I guess this doesn't get all that exciting. She's like, oh honey, I have shaved so many pubic hairs, you wouldn't even know. Um, <laughs> I was like, great, lovely. Um, but they took me back, I mean, got an IV started, uh, got all the basics, took me back um, into the theater, and then... Um, they had kind of like pretty much sedated me at that point, but they were doing a like stress test is what I think it's called, um, where they'll put my heart into stress. A lot of times these things are done while somebody's awake, not um, as much when somebody's out, but they did it while I was out just in case something went wrong because my heart goes really, really fast when it's done that. So my heart, I was getting, um, I was in and out for a lot of this. Like I wasn't completely out for all of it. And I do remember them shouting like numbers probably not shouting, but saying numbers um, and like count, calling out what my heart rate was. And I was like, it was over 250 for quite a hot minute. And that was mildly terrifying. Uh, so they pretty much went in. I couldn't see anything. They had a tarp 
in front of my head, um, but they had like catheters that they put into my hip and went up through a vein all the way up to my heart. It was in my right hip to my heart in the left. Um, and they burned off whatever was in there and then we were done and I was back in my room. Um, there's a lot of video footage of me being loopy um, directly following, but pretty much like the procedure for having an ablation is afterwards you have to stay flat for a certain amount of time. Um, so we did, I had heart monitors on, I had blood pressure cuff that was going all the time, um, which got very annoying very quickly. So I was flat for a while and then I got to sit up a little bit and you slowly move to an incline at certain set intervals as long as like your heart doesn't freak out. Um, so my mother was with me for this, she flew uh, to the States to help me and I convinced her to watch Yuri on Ice, which was fantastic. Um, it is the only anime I've gotten my mom to watch and she enjoyed it, so I'll take pride in that. And um, after I got some food, I got a grilled cheese sandwich. It was delicious. And then I, um, eventually we got to get up and I got, I put my clothes back on and I got in the car and we drove home. Um, and I wasn't allowed to shower that night, but I was allowed to shower the next morning. Um, so some things I definitely learned from this were do not wear leggings because the <laughs> leggings were, um, I had like a bunch of like padding on my hip and I couldn't pull, like the leggings were too tight against it. So I would suggest super loose sweatpants or pajama pants. Um, I also had like fuzzy socks, but they were like the tightly knit ones. So they weren't easy to pull on. Um, it was really hard to bend at my hip. So get really loose fitting socks, like slides or flip flops or something you can like slide your feet in and out of super quickly. Um, and I like to have like shower wipes or baby wipes or something. Um, because hospitals are gross and germy and ugh. I like to have like baby wipes so instead of because I couldn't take a shower that night um, just to wipe myself off with and then I also um, my kind of like bandages were starting to fall off um, so I had some medical tape that I put on real quick um, but I was able to take them off the next morning so it wasn't a huge deal I will say I had some heart soreness afterwards um, so it's been a year and a half since my ablation and I will say I do every once in a while still get pain in my heart and I can tell like it's the exact same pain I had afterwards, um, but it's never like awful or bad. Um, I My incision sites immediately after were, <laughs> it took two, three-ish, like two weeks to a month to heal. Um, I can't quite remember. And it was horribly bruised for the longest time. Um, like I had bruising going all over my hip. It was kind of gnarly. Um, I don't actually have any visible sc scars from it. Like I can still, if I look hard enough, I can find them, but they're super, super subtle. Like you won't see them in a bikini or something like that. Um, you're not allowed to like ha pick up anything heavier than like 10 pounds on your left side for like a week after the procedure, which was frustrating. And obviously your doctors are gonna tell you all of this. They will let you know what you can and can't do. Follow their orders. Um, this is just what I had. This was all of my instructions and all that fun stuff. So that was my ablation story. Um, it was pretty fun, not a horrible procedure by any means. Um, and I have not had any SVT episodes since, but be on the lookout for the next episode uh, where I'll talk about kind of where I'm at now with my heart and um, what it's doing now because I have still had heart issues since then. Um, so subscribe so you don't miss it. Like this video, comment what if you've had a, like ablation, how was your experience? Um, how did that go? Um, any other tips or tricks that you guys have for it? Um, and as always, uh, lots of love. Bye!